It's my great pleasure to speak today with one of the busiest conductors on the planet, Conductor Laureate of the BBC Philharmonic, the Victor de Sabata Guest Conductor of the Pittsburgh Symphony, Chief Guest Conductor of the Israel Philharmonic, and Music Director of the Teatro Regio Turin. I'm speaking of and speaking to Maestro John Andrea Nozeda. Maestro, uh, good to have you on tap coming to Hampton Roads for our Virginia Arts Festival, bringing in the Israel Philharmonic. How long have you been the uh, chief guest conductor of that orchestra? Since uh, 2012, so it's uh, the second season, but I started my relationship uh, with them uh, seven years ago. Okay, great orchestra, one of the world's greatest. We've had them here uh, before. You know, they've, they've been uh, under the direction of Zubin Mehta for so many years. And I wonder when you become a guest conductor and work with an orchestra like that, do you, do you tinker with the sound a little bit, maybe to get them a Zeta sound when you, you do concerts with them? Uh, it's been a great experience because the, since uh, minute one uh, has been uh, so fantastic, the, the sound they were uh, proposing to me, and uh, I could really uh, adjust that sound and try to, to make the, the music and uh, praising the music the way I wanted. They, I found very reactive people, so I really like to make music uh, with them. Of course, they have a very big personality in terms of uh, sound, because uh, after so many years working with uh, a great conductor, uh, one of the greatest, like to be meta. Of course, they have their uh, own personality, but they were uh, flexible enough and reactive enough also to accept my ideas. So I think it's a good combination to have uh, to have the Israel Philharmonic playing under me. I, I feel very privileged for that. Well, it's a great uh, country for music. We just had the uh, Haifa Symphony in town about a month ago, and we've had the Israel Philharmonic here before. The last time uh, they were in town, they brought in Emmanuel Axe with them for the uh, Beethoven Emperor. I noticed uh, on your program, by the way, great program, four terrific uh, orchestral showpieces, uh, Suite from Peleus and Melisande of Poiré, the Mother Goose Ballet of Ravel, Suite from the Ballet, Suite Number 2 from Daphnis and Chloe and the Berlioz Symphony Fantastique. Now, did you choose that program? It's been, a, let's say, a sort of a mixed... Uh, uh, this program has a several fathers because I uh -huh. wanted to do... Uh, Symphony Fantastique, uh, and uh, the suggestion for the first half was just to complete a program with uh, uh, French, other French composers, and I thought it was, was great. It was not my first choice to do Mamerua and Daphne St. Chloe, but after that, uh, I really liked the idea, and uh, to open the concert with Fauré was my suggestion, with the Pelé and uh, So I think all together gives a sort of flavor of what was France, uh, between uh, the early 30s uh, of the 19th century till the, the Daphne and Co., so the, the, the first, uh, the first uh, 10 years uh, of the 20th century, just to have over, almost over a century impression of what France was producing in terms uh, of music. And I think also the fact that uh, Berlioz and uh, Ravel were both really great orchestrators, just that they could imagine new way to orchestrate uh, uh, the music, just how to use the instruments in the orchestra in a new way makes this program very interesting, uh, intriguing also. And Fauré also was not probably, is not considered probably one of the greatest orchestrators, but uh, his uh, honest uh, way to, to write music, fantastic tunes, uh, uh, is incredible. So I think um, we, we show both, both uh, faces of uh, the same coin, which is France, uh, from the brilliant orchestrator and the very beautiful tune, uh, tunes maker like Fauré was. That's a great uh, point that you make there, and a wonderfully balanced program, Impressionism, in the first part of the program, and of course that big symphony, Fantastique, in the second. I, have to, I always ask conductors this when I see Symphony Fantastique on the program. In that second movement, there's a, uh, uh, the ball scene, there's a, there's a, waltz and they use cornets or there's an optional cornet part do you have enough cornet players with you to to play that optional part in Abs the performance absolutely yes absolutely bravo yes. I thank you <laughs> <laughs> no i like i like the craziness of this uh, cornetta part yeah. which uh, adds a bit otherwise you know this valse sounds like a normal valse with mm -hmm. the cornetta you can see the cryptical the devilish uh, part of the of the valse uh, and uh, you will uh, 
uh, if you use the cornetta, you will probably imagine in the later movements something uh, very tragic will happen, uh, despite the fact that the valse is so seductively beautiful. Yeah. And the, tr the cornet gives us this uh, extra element. Well, you wh you've whetted my appetite already. That you won me over. But uh, I'm looking forward to this concert, as are we all. Now, I know you are very busy. You studied with uh, Valery Gergiev and worked at the Mariinsky Theater uh, for some years conducting, did you not? I did, uh, and uh, I've been one of his students uh, in um, Siena, in Italy, in Toscany, mm -hmm. for the Academia Chigiana. And, of course, I've been uh, uh, appointed the principal guest conductor at the Marinsky in 1997, so I worked in, uh, at the Marinsky Theater uh, for uh, almost 10 years, uh, so I, I've been very, very close. I've been working very closely with, uh, with uh, Maestro Valery Gergiev, and also this, uh, this element uh, I can really show in, the, in, the, in, uh, in, the, in my way mm -hmm. of uh, going through a symphony fantastique, because uh, the, the taste of the color of the orchestra I really learned in Russia and with uh, this kind of music like uh, Symphony Fantastic of Daphne St. Chloe or even Bonner Loire is fantastic just to, to, to explore all the possibilities uh, the, the orchestra can give to a conductor. Wonderful to hear. Now you've been very busy. You uh, were with the Pittsburgh Symphony earlier, did the um, Lalo Symphony Espanol with Joshua Bell. He's coming uh, here with our Virginia Symphony and Joe Anfaletta to do the same work uh, in a little over a month from now. So I'm glad you've gotten him in shape for that. And you've been rehearsing <laughs> <laughs> at the uh, Metro <laughs> Metropolitan Opera. I know you're doing Andrea Chenier. We're looking forward to a broadcast uh, performance of that. You're doing the Philadelphia Orchestra in April. You're on the national tour with the Israel Philharmonic. You're like Valery Gergiev. You're so busy. <laughs> you no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not uh, even close to the <laughs> to the busy schedule of uh, Maestro Gergiev. But let's see. This uh, visit in America. I arrived here on 16th of January for mm -hmm. the rehearsals of Prince Igor at the Met. Uh, I have to say, is uh, is really quite busy. But uh, I'm I'm enjoying. Uh, uh, I, it would be better if I complain because uh, for uh, for a conductor to make music with these institutions uh, is just is just great and and to tour with Israel Philharmonic uh, in, in America and, and touch very different cities uh, I, I think is is so crucial to to take the music uh, to the widest possible audience I think is just fantastic so. It's busy, but I'm I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Well, we're really looking forward to it. You come from a great line of uh, conductors from De Sabata and Giolini through uh, Muti and Claudio Abbado. You had some very nice things to say about Claudio Abbado in the last uh, BBC Music magazine. I know we all miss that uh, great maestro, but such a wonderful line of uh, conductors from Italy. And you now are a very busy person on Chandos. We play a lot of your recordings here on the station. You've just done the... Uh, Prokofiev concertos with uh, Bavaze, and you've done this uh, uh, Petrosti Magnificat. I'm not familiar with that, but I see you have a new recording of that coming out on Chandos, and we're going to be getting he, that and playing it. Yeah, he, he's, uh, uh, he's going to be finished in, in the spring, mm -hmm. uh, actually in May, the second uh, CD dedicated to Petrosti. We okay. already recorded a few pieces in uh, last fall, uh, we will complete the disc with uh, with the piece uh, uh, from Petrassi choral choral music. Uh, uh, oh, oh, now I is uh, from the Spanish Juan de la Cruz. Uh, okay, I forgot the piece. Uh, I already recorded the partita. I recorded the four hymns, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so. Uh, you are busy. Every, every, every time Chandos comes out with a new release, she, we look for your recordings on there. And we play your BBC uh, uh, recordings as well with the Philharmonic that come out with BBC Magazine. Just did the Beethoven Second a couple of days ago. Great recording of that. And uh, So y you, are, you are busy on disc. You're busy in concert, and you're going to be busy here. So I know you're, you're needing to get back and rehearse some more, but... Let me again reiterate uh, that you're going to be in town Wednesday, April 2nd, 730 at the Sandler Center for the Performing Arts in Virginia Beach, a program which includes the suite from Peleus and Melisande of Poiret, the Mother Goose Suite of Ravel, 
Daphnis and Chloe, suite number two of Ravel as well, and the big work on the program, the Berlioz Symphony Fantastique with the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra. John Andrea Noseda, you are uh, you are something to talk to and something to hear, and we really look forward to having you on the podium opening our Virginia Arts Festival. Let me give out the telephone number, 282-2822 for those tickets, 282-2822 or vafest.org. We'll look forward to having you in town. I can't wait to hear those cornet parts in the uh, Symphony Fantastique. We want you to travel safely, have a great <coughs> tour with the Israel Philharmonic. And Thank we'll you so much, Raymond. And yes. now I can tell you the piece of Petrassi is called Noche Oscura from the text of Juan de la Cruz. Excellent. Now, now, yeah, it was a little bit too tired to remember. Noche Oscura. Okay. That is the, the final piece of the mm-hmm. disc. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, well, we'll get a copy of that and have that on our new releases program. We'll hear you on the Met broadcast. We'll see you on stage at the Sandler Center. Uh, busy man that you are, take care of yourself, and we'll all be there cheering for you come April 2nd at the Sandler Center in Virginia Beach. John Andrea Nozeda, best wishes to you. And uh, I'll say buongiorno and thank you again for taking a little time and talking thank to us today. Thank you so much for having me in your program. It's been a great pleasure. Thanks very, a lot. Very good, sir. We'll see you in April. Take care. Bye-bye.